The time is 4.05. Let's talk about weather. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr in the Weather Center. Yeah, we've got some things scripted there, but I'm going to ask, I know you keep getting updates today. I see you running around. So what's the latest, Margaret? So uh, the governor's talk is very timely. What we have is potential tropical cyclone one, and people go, what does that mean? Well, it means it's not a depression and it's not a storm, but it's likely to be one at landfall. Here is a look at where it is right there at the north northeast tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. Moving north very slowly, 5 miles per hour, max winds 35 miles per hour. We've had Air Force reconnaissance in there, so we've got a really good idea of what's happening. Forecast to move to the north and then to the east-northeast. We do have a tropical storm watch posted from Longboat Key, which is where my stepmother lives all the way down to the Keys. So this is going to have impacts for Friday and Saturday. And then look, Sunday, it's off in the Atlantic. Looks like no impacts for the mid-Atlantic coast. And the max winds at this time forecast to be about 40 miles per hour. So let's investigate this system. There you can see reconnaissance in there. They flew out of Keesler and they found, you know, the pressure now has dropped. It's down to 1,002 millibars. So it's something we'll watch, but very dry air over the North Gulf, very strong winds across the system. That's why the heavier rain is all on the east side. And the big concern for South Florida, 4 to 8 to 12 inches of rain possibly and a storm surge of one to two feet. So the rain is the big issue. The winds may be 40 miles per hour. Meanwhile, we've got rain that's going to be moving our way. I've got more on that coming up in a moment. Margaret, thank you. President Joe Biden set to address the